Welcome to Lesson 1 in Unit 21, From Sun to Food. In this lesson, students will work together to answer the question, Why do living things eat food? In this lesson, students are introduced to the anchoring phenomenon and they create a class driving question board. Students revisit previous learning about living things and ask questions about how animals and plants on a farm get what they need to survive. Students make predictions and set up the sprouter investigation. Students then observe how yeast reacts to food and consider how this is similar to how humans use food. They discuss how matter and energy move through both yeast and humans. Finally, they begin to develop an initial model of a pizza farm. Students figure out animals eat food which contains energy used for their needs such as growth, movement, and to maintain body warmth. When living things break down their food, energy is released for body parts to use. Students make connections to the storyline by creating a model that depicts how the ingredients from the pizza we eat is grown and raised on a farm. They explain how eating pizza provides us with the energy our bodies use to function in many ways. There are several opportunities for ELA cross-curricular connections throughout the lesson. You can look for specific standard connections in the Unit 21 Teacher Guide. This lesson will take approximately three to four days to complete. Please note that before starting Lesson 1, you will need to begin the investigation from Lesson 2, so the seeds have enough time to grow. You will need to soak seeds one day prior to this, and then use one class period to start the investigation. Use the instructions in the teacher guide. You'll also find a tutorial linked that takes you step by step through putting the beans in the sprouter trays, taking the mass of each tray and seeds, and adding water to the trays. For the engaged portion of the lesson, you'll introduce the anchoring phenomenon. We eat pizza with many different ingredients on it. People are building pizza farms where all the ingredients are grown in one place. You'll show the picture of pizza to students. Have them describe the ingredients of the pizza in the picture. Please see the noted opportunity to attend to equity should the provided phenomenon not be compelling for your students. Students will find the anchoring phenomenon more compelling if they can connect to it personally. If you want to change the anchoring phenomenon for your context, keep the following questions in mind. Is it going to be relevant to my students' lives and or particularly engaging to them? By researching online, you can find farms in your area that might not be pizza farms, but other local, sustainably designed farms. You can shift the focus from pizza to the foods grown on the local farm you choose. You'll ask students questions about what toppings they like on pizza and where they think the ingredients come from. You'll show a video of a pizza farm and ask students what they observe. You'll also ask students what questions they have and have them write them down on post-it notes for the class driving question board. You'll then show images of farms. Provide students with extra post-it notes to record any new questions they come up with during their discussions of the pictures. The goal is to support students to ask multiple questions related to the phenomenon that we can use science to explore. Now that students have their questions, you will guide them in creating categories for their questions on the driving question board using the steps provided in the teacher guide. Once categories are created, you can guide the class in collapsing them into bigger categories that have closer alignment to the driving questions provided in the unit. Do not answer questions at this time or correct student thinking. They will explore their questions and explain this anchoring phenomenon throughout the unit. For example, if a student says something incorrect, you can say, how could we figure that out? Highlight questions connected to the learning goals of this lesson by calling attention to questions about what animals and plants need to survive. Here are examples of driving question boards from other K-5 units. They depict the students' questions and categories, some along with a drawn model from the unit. Some driving question boards are simple lists of questions or groups of sticky notes posted on chart paper. Teachers and students can manipulate and move around questions and label categories together. For the explore portion, you'll start part one of the sprouter investigation. 
You'll show students the sprouter and seeds. You'll demonstrate how you will use the sprouter to grow the seeds and ask students about what they think plants need to grow. You'll also talk about how you can track the growth of the sprouts. You can post and discuss the mass vocabulary card. You'll have students record their predictions in the Sprouter Investigation student journal page. You'll then show students a video of animals eating. You'll have students turn and talk and discuss what they notice in the video, why they think animals eat, and why we might eat pizza. You'll tell students that in order to help us see the effects of eating food in a short amount of time, they are going to use a model. You'll set up the yeast model demonstration activity using the instructions found in the teacher guide. You'll prepare two bottles of very warm water and take students through the steps of adding yeast to both, but sugar to one. Students will observe the bottles and whether or not attached balloons inflate. Pause this video here to review the list of needed materials and the items found in your kit for this activity. Once the balloon with sugar is standing upright, you can guide the students to work together to answer questions 1 and 2 in the Yeast Model student journal page. In the Explain portion of the lesson, students will engage in a class discussion about their observations and learning from the activity. Use the provided questions to guide your discussion around the question, Why do living things eat food? The goal of this class discussion is to compare how yeast and humans use food to get energy for things they need to live. You will use the discussion to create the Lesson 1 summary chart. From the discussion, students should understand that people need energy to grow, move, and heal. People get energy from the food they eat, like pizza. You'll have students read Why Does Food Matter? to learn more about how living things get matter and energy. You can post and discuss the energy and matter vocabulary cards. Remember to collect data for the Sprouter investigation during the Elaborate portion. In the Elaborate portion and throughout the unit, students will develop a model of how energy and matter move along on a pizza farm using the Pizza Farm Model student journal page. They will start their model in Lesson 1 and revisit after most lessons. To guide students in making the best model, you will develop a Gotta Have It checklist that tells students what to include in the first part of their model. In small groups, you'll have students create their Pizza Farm models and labeled explanations on the Pizza Farm model student journal page. Provide students with colored pencils, markers, or crayons so they can use colors to identify features on their farm if they would like. You'll then bring the class back together and use the student models to develop a class consensus model of the pizza farm that includes the key takeaways from the lesson. You will update this model throughout the unit. For the evaluate portion, you'll have students complete the Energy and Matter Quick Check student journal page. To support student sense making across the unit, orient them back to the driving question board. Ask students, what did we learn about why living things eat food? And what additional questions do you have now? By the end of this lesson, students will have asked questions about why and how people grow food on farms, asked questions about where living things get what they need to move, grow, and reproduce, and observed a model of yeast to predict how food is used by living things. In Lesson 2, students will investigate where plants get the energy and matter they need to grow. The EXTEND activity for this lesson is aligned to a Missouri standard. If you are a Missouri teacher, this lesson should be taught. If not, it can be optional. After asking some initial questions about animal digestion, you'll provide students with the article Comparing and Contrasting Digestive Systems on a Farm and allow them to read with a partner and annotate the article. You display the slides showing the digestive system of a cow, chicken, and human and review the fast facts. Then you'll have students return to their groups or pairs and answer the questions on the Animal Digestion student journal page. Summatively assess your students using the Frog vs. Fish Skeleton student journal page. For more information about this unit, 
visit mysidepartners.com.